On a gray autumn morning, Colin and Charles were in the office as Jim walked in. Colin, I don't know if you saw it. Your friend Lee made the front page of the Boston Globe. (laughs) What did Lee do now? There's a new law coming in Massachusetts, and it looks like Lee was involved with it. Ambulances with stroke patients and head injuries will only be allowed to take their patients to hospitals that are staffed for neurological emergencies. Lee had said in a recent press conference. That will mean more of them will end up at the MGH. I could see why Lee would want that. Let me take a look at that. As Colin read the Globe story, he shifted from leaning back to sitting up to almost vibrating out of his chair as if he had been hit with a jolt of energy. That's it, guys. That's our new business. This is something we can do that Neurologica can't. (laughs) Thank you, Lee. What? Please don't tell me we're going to become an ambulance company. Hospital CEOs and CFOs around the state are gnashing their teeth right now. They're about to lose a lot of ambulance traffic. And that's a pretty lucrative part of their operations. Right. They're feeling screwed right now. They have no way to fix this that isn't way beyond their means. And that affects us... How? We're going to give them the expert neurologist they need, or at least 24-7 access to ones. We'll do it with technology. We'll use the telemedicine model that Lee started and scale it so we can bring neurologists right into the emergency room. How exactly will that work? Exactly? We're going to have to figure out the exactly part, but I know the concept will work. Look, we have this great team looking for a project. We can figure out the details, right? So we're not a medical device company anymore. We're a medical service company? The only one of its kind. I think I like this. I doubt we'd have any impact on the MGH because they're a closed system. They can't expand outside of the Mass General's associated hospitals. But there's another thing Lee taught me. Doing telemedicine also comes with some risks. One of my first experiences with Lee's telemed did not go well. Administering TPA can be dangerous. 